Let's fly here. Good morning. <sighs> Done turned out cool. Anyway, we're finna load this trailer up. My boy, my boy found a tub of corn. <laughs> he just did. I'm gonna put that corn out for them hogs. But anyway, we're gonna lower the lower the panel. I mean, lower the jack on the trailer. And uh, got a hog in the trap. And we're gonna move the trap. Well, I say we're gonna move. We're gonna take the trap away. Let's see how that goes. But anyway, y'all know how this goes. Yes, sir. Lock her down and ready to roll. Well, know what time it is. You see the gates. The head knocking away. Let's get this thing opened up. Get everything hooked to the Ranger. Roll on down. Man, it's cold this morning for me. 46. <sighs> my son, do not forget my teaching, but keep my commands in your heart. For they will prolong your life many years and bring you prosperity. <sighs> Amen. in here but we'll just stay at them I actually seen this little boar hog the other day. This trap. Hang on, son. Very scared. Give me time. Stink though. You stink, go. Okay, like he ain't trying to be bad or anything. He's just trying. <laughs> Man. Yeah. 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 So a lot of people think it's easy hitting these things. And I'm doing it with a camera and one handed right here in the trap, but they just keep moving. And it's what people say, it's like shooting fish in a barrel, shooting fish in a barrel. But they don't understand that this dude is moving, moving, moving. And uh, you're trying to get on him. Anyway, 
Oh, a little bull hog down. Like I, said, I went over and put throwed another round in him real quick just to kind of settle him down a little bit. But uh, we'll let him uh, kind of get his kick start out of him. A lot of times the nerves is in there and whatnot. So, uh, but he got one in the brain for sure. <laughs> and uh, but like I said, it's just the way it works out sometimes. And I try to explain to people when you got 15, 20 in there, it's a little bit different, you know. So, uh, but one boar hog, you just keep moving, 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 moving. So, anyway, uh, Nice little boar hog, but we'll get his trap broke down when he gets through getting his nerves out. And uh, might throw an extra one in there just to pacify some of y'all that ain't never killed none. <laughs> so, can't believe you ain't a better shot than that. <laughs> I can't believe you ain't ever trapped hogs before. <laughs> anyway, oh, I'll get him up and uh, do something with him here shortly. Whoa, it's cold. Come on. Well, I'm fixing to do is see if I can get this thing set up and I can uh, go into fast mode. I'm going to turn that around. Give y'all let y'all see me load the trap up really fast, though. I ain't going to let y'all hear all my breathing and struggling. <laughs> ain't going to do all that now. <laughs> oh, but anyway, one bow hog down. And uh, the only one we caught here, we had several, but when the makers start falling and all that, it's, uh, this is the same piece of property as well as... Uh, uh, where I got my, where I tore my trailer hitch up, where when I was stuck in the rain, when I was in the point out rain, this same piece of property is just on the east side of that property. It's like 400 acres. So we're on this side of that bridge and all that, that I was scared to go over and end up tearing up my trailer and all that. That's where we're at right now. So uh, he said, I got a few hogs on the east side. And I come over here and we had a decent little group, like six or seven maybe. Started off as two and then it was six or seven and then the acre started falling. And uh, anyway, this boar hog slipped up. Today was going to be my last day anyway. But anyway, let's get this thing turned around and out of here, guys. Y'all know we just be working. I had a pocket drag, but I got this old drag right here, but I had a pocket drag. I literally got it out of my truck this morning. I don't know if I ate it or what, <laughs> but I don't know what it did. Oh, don't know what it did with it. Oh. Well, it's going to have to work right there. We'll just put both up. Come up down that hole over there. Ain't no heavy hole. Ain't no light hole. Ain't no light hole. Ain't no light hole. Ain't no light hole. Sun's coming up. Breakfast time at the traceway. Woo. Right. Guess we'll ease on up here. Get us the look at them fudge woods. Right. Yeah. Thank you, Lucky Buck. For helping me get lucky.
that hole. Look at the hole. Hole tearing up the food line. Well, I found my uh, pocket drag. I did get it out and laid it on the tailgate. So here's a question a lot of people had, you know, when I tore up everything down there in the bottom. Here's a question. So I got a drop hitch on there. So when I bought this thing, it come with a drop hitch. I quickly realized <clears throat> that why I had a drop hitch was when I had when I had the, the, the jack here, when this thing come out level, so it'd be about this much higher. Ugh, about fell over my knee. About this much higher. What happened was when you got tried to crank it, when you're trying to crank it, it was hitting that and it was making it hard. Yes, you can flip the jack up, but then it was still hard. Basically, I know that some of y'all got the answers right now, but I'm telling you, <laughs> facts. <laughs> so, but I appreciate y'all telling me many times. But now, listen to me, now that I got that removed, since I was talking, I got me a side jack, I still had that on there. So what I did is when I had that side jack, listen to me now, when I had the side jack put on, I had a spare, uh, jack to go in there right i mean a hitch the hitch wouldn't go in the receiver it wouldn't slide up in there so is there a different size ball hitch or something because that looked like a regular that looked like a regular size it don't look like you know sometimes you get those jeep kind they go in the jeep but any which way now i want you to, <laughs> to explain to me why i won't go up in that hole <laughs> so but anyway, so I can get back level and get a little bit higher because now you can see, watch this. I got that issue. <laughs> so, any which way, I know everybody got a lot of answers out there. But I got a lot of problems. <laughs> but pigs ain't one of them. Oh. <laughs> anyway, let me get this jacked up, jacked off or something, whatever. I said that wrong, but any which way, I need to get this up so I can get my Oh, uh, Chevy under it. <sighs> All right. Excuse me. Snagging on some chocolate. Another landowner showed up. He's actually doing some work in there for the landowner that I'm on. And, you know, I was talking about my jack. I couldn't get my jack up. I was like, I'll pick it up. So the guy that was with him said, hey. So I dropped, I dropped that jack. You know, the jack was down like this. Right? He said, just... Let your latch off, unhook your latch, back your Ranger up. I backed up, right, and the jack went boop, like that right there. Ain't that cool? That's why I need help all the time. I need help. <laughs> now we on the road. Go find something to do with this hole. And we're going to the Traceway restaurant. Get them two eggs and bacon. And a large one. Let's go. A little like we got a little roadblock right here. These things that make you slow down. Look, what they're doing is they're grading the road, right? Getting the gravel back hard, but also getting the side of the ditch right there. <clears throat> you get the side of that ditch cleaned off the way the water can run off when we do get rain. A lot of times the leaves and debris pile up on the edge right there. And uh, the water can't run off, makes it messes the roads up. But anyway, I'm just getting close because I wanted y'all to see. But anyway, any of y'all work for road construction? Prove me wrong. <laughs> <laughs> Today's all about David Ellis. Y'all, y'all, it's wrong. <laughs> all right. Whew. All right, we just got my belly full. Man, them two eggs was thick. <laughs> uh, I felt like I ate four. Anyway, we're going to run up here, and uh, I got to get my truck today. Anyway, we got to do something with this house. Let's go do something with this house. Figure it out. Figure it all out. Uh, yeah. I guess I'm going to get my exercise in. So my truck messed up the other day when Harlow was uh, driving it. It was sputtering, carrying on. Somebody flagged him, said the tire was doing all this. So I'm walking to the tire center now. I got some tires put on it. And uh, got I think the coal packs, maybe a couple coal packs was messing up where. And uh, anyway, so we're just walking. It is about a mile, half a mile, I don't know. That's enough to get your heart rate up. But anyway, I'm walk down here, car center. I got my checkbook and my debit card. I don't know how much your debit card unless you run it one time. But I got the checkbook just in case. <laughs> Hope it takes a check, cause I ain't got no cash. Let's get our walk on. This dog always be chasing 
my truck. I think I'm like the only truck it chases. Probably because it smells like hog. He got a shot collar on, but uh, evidently he don't run out to get across the road, so. Take my hoodie off. What's up, dog? Act nice. Oh, no. Oh, dang, you want to act bad. Come on. I probably smell like hog. He gonna chase me. Still walking down the highway. Truck at the end. Oh yeah, that Toyota is sitting out here all pretty. Got a few grip tires. Got a little grip on that. What y'all think? Got them new cleats, new insoles. Oh. Anyway, let me go ahead and write this check now. Ah. Cost to play. Our tariff stuff. This is my kind of place right here. You got the fur trappers. The skin. We back riding in the Yoda. Trying to find my pedometer. Oh, there it is. 332,000 miles on this old boy. He's been a good pig hauler. And a good. We're gonna come down here and check a piece of property where my trap was and letting Bella run a little bit. Sometimes the dog just needs to feel free. Get out and hunt a little bit, but we're just giving a good run right now. And make her body feel good. Get mud on the new tires. Yeah. Bella finished off her run with a good little swim in the lake there. Whoa. You see that? See that fish? Yeah. Anyway. Well, that's our day. We'll take care of everything we need to take care of. So I appreciate you joining in. Don't forget to do the things I need you to do. Like go to yachtyacht.com. We've got giveaways and all things and whatever you want to do. <laughs> Bella, you about ready to ride? Let's go. You ready? Let's go. Let's load up. Come on. Come on. There you go. She's waiting on me to pick her up. Anyway, y'all have a good one. And God bless. And as always, Jesus loves you. Ow!